What is going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we are reacting to every state in the US. Without further ado, let's get straight into it and see what we got here. Every state in the US. Let's go. This is Every State in the US by Wendover Productions and made possible by The Great Courses Plus. We'll start with Alabama, the first state alphabetically. Magnolia Springs, Alabama is the only town in America to have their mail delivered by boat. Although the longest mail delivery route in America is in rural Oklahoma, where delivery drivers have to drive 187.6 miles each Imagine getting your mail delivery by boat. <laughs> that is insane, bro. ...day to deliver the mail to around 200 houses. Oklahoma's state vegetable is the watermelon, which happens to be a fruit. And Oklahoma is also home to Kansas, the town. The real Kansas, or more specifically this point, is the geographic center of the contiguous United States. What Kansas is not home to is Kansas City, which counterintuitively is in Missouri, where the population center of the U.S. is, the average location of every American. Missouri borders eight states, and is therefore tied with Tennessee as the state that borders the most other states. Tennessee was a southern state that seceded from the United States and joined the Confederacy, except for Scott County, which seceded from Tennessee and formed the unrecognized independent state. Scott County didn't actually officially rejoin Tennessee until 1986. Tennessee's western border was originally defined by the course of the Mississippi River, which has since changed course, which has led to all these enclaves and exclaves of the two states on the two sides of the river. The Arkansas River, a major tributary of the Mississippi, begins all the way in Colorado, where nobody's entirely sure which mountain is the tallest, Mount Elbert or Mount Massive, since their heights are within 10 feet of each other and people keep building piles of rocks on the summits to make one mountain taller than the other. Okay. Colorado is also home to America's longest continuous street, Colfax Avenue in Denver at 26 miles long. But the shortest individually named street in America is reportedly McKinley Street in Bellefontaine, Ohio at a mere 28 feet long. Ohio's northernmost point is actually north of Canada's southernmost point, Pelee Island. Pelee Island, Canada, in fact, is farther south than parts of 27 states, including California, which as a state has a higher population than the entire country of Canada. Los Angeles, California, despite being on the Pacific Ocean, is east of six state capitals, including Nevada's. Nevada has the point in the entire United States where you're farthest from a McDonald's, only 116 miles. Although Nevada is not the state with the fewest McDonald's. That title goes to the state with 29 McDonald's, North Dakota, which according to some legal experts, wasn't technically a state until 2012, since their constitution. Wow, I did not know actually that the US has so many states. Just unreal. How many are there in total? Can someone please comment down below how many states are in America? Was missing this sentence, Let's which meant it out. didn't fulfill the federal requirement for statehood. Despite having the fewest McDonald's, North Dakota is not America's least populated state. That's Wyoming, which has two sets of escalators in the entire state. Wyoming is well known for hosting Yellowstone National Park, although a bit of it spills over into Idaho. Though in this section, you can get away with murder. You see, with the Sixth Amendment- How can you get away with murder? Well, that, that is some shit. And if you're placed on trial, it's required that you are judged by a jury of your peers, which means individuals from the same state and federal district as where the crime was committed. Yellowstone wow. is its own federal district, meaning you need residents from Yellowstone to be on the jury. Although if you were in the Idaho part, you need Yellowstone residents from Idaho to be on the jury. Except this 50 square mile section is entirely uninhabited, so they wouldn't be able to form a jury, which means you'd walk free. There's also one single road connecting the entire southern section of Idaho to the northern section. Idaho, with its fairly low population, has one single telephone area code for the whole state, just like neighboring Montana. Montana is home to the least busy commercial airport in the US, Dawson Community Airport, at 4,000 passengers per year, or about 11 per day. Okay. Missoula, Montana is also home to the warehouse of DFTBA where you can buy one of these, a Wendover Productions t-shirts, for only $20. The link is in the description. The busiest airport in America is Atlanta's, at 49 million passengers per year, or 135,000 per day. Peachtree, a suburb of Atlanta, is a community- That is a crazy number, bro. ...community that has 90 miles of golf cart-specific roads adjacent to its normal roads, 
since 9,000 families here have golf carts as their second cars. Mm -hmm. Kids are even encouraged to drive to school from the age of 12 in their golf carts. Wow. Georgia, or more specifically Springer Mountain, Georgia, is the start to the 2,200 mile long Appalachian Trail, which is a hiking trail that terminates all the way up at Mount Katahdin, Maine. Maine is the only state in America to only border one other state, and it's also the closest state to Africa. Seriously, it's closer than Florida. The second closest state to Africa is Massachusetts, or more specifically, Cape Cod, Massachusetts, which is technically an island since a man-made canal separates it from the mainland. Massachusetts is actually farther from Miami than Panama City is, and Miami is closer to the country capitals of Nassau, Bahama and Havana, Cuba than its own state capital, Tallahassee. Florida has the lowest highest point of any state, 312 feet, 23 times lower than South Dakota's highest point. South Dakota is home to the geographic center of the entire United States. Wow, like the U.S. has really interesting stuff. It's unreal how many stuff there is, bro. United States, if you include Alaska and Hawaii, and it was made a state a mere nine days before Washington, which was called Columbia before it became a state. Its name was changed as to not confuse it with the District of Columbia, but obviously that didn't work out since DC city ended up being called Washington. Washington Place is the official residence of Hawaii's governor, and Hawaii was given its own unique currency during World War II that was its only legal tender so that, in case the Japanese successfully invaded Hawaii, the federal government could declare all of Hawaii's currency worthless to prevent the Japanese from using it. The closest state to Hawaii is Alaska, whose capital, Juneau, has no roads connecting it with the rest of Alaska or North America, meaning you can't drive in or out. Alaska is also one of the four states that completely bans outdoor billboards, along with Hawaii, Maine, and Vermont, whose tallest building is only 11 stories tall. That's the shortest tallest building of any state. The tallest building in the states is Freedom Tower in New York. New York is home to Ellis Island, or at least part of it. Their territory is completely surrounded by New Jersey, similar to Liberty Island, home to the Statue of Liberty which is completely surrounded by New Jersey waters, which means you need to travel through New Jersey to get from New York to New York. Clinton Road in okay. West Milford, New Jersey has America's longest red light, a full five minute wait. New what the five minute wait? That is unreal, bro. Five minutes on a red light, bro. Jersey oh. actually goes surprisingly far south farther south than Kentucky's northernmost point. In its southwest corner, Kentucky has a rather large piece of territory that's not actually connected to the rest of Kentucky. Kentucky was the birthplace of Lincoln, who was later elected to the Illinois House of Representatives, and in Illinois is the original Burger King. But it's not the Burger King you're thinking of. This Burger King existed before this Burger King, and therefore sued Burger King when they came to Illinois for trademark infringement and won. So now no Burger King is allowed to operate within a 20 mile radius of this original Burger King. Oh, wow. Chicago, Illinois, America's third largest city, is just a tad bit larger than the fourth largest city, Houston, Texas. And Texas is so enormous that El Paso, Texas is closer to Los Angeles than it is to Houston, Texas. Texas's northernmost point is also closer to Michigan than it is to its southernmost point. From Detroit, Michigan, you actually end up in Canada if you travel due south. And Michigan is the only state to be made of two entirely separated sections. Michigan's Highway 185 is actually a bike path, making it the only official highway in America where cars are banned. Michigan's Upper Peninsula is also only connected by land to Wisconsin, which is home to the Green Bay Packers, a team so popular that the waiting list for season tickets is 30 years long. It's so long that it's common for parents to put their kid's name on the list as soon as they're born. In Watertown, Wisconsin is Utah Street, but the real Utah has the longest section of interstate in the US with no gas stations, 106 miles on I-70. I-70 ends over 2,000 miles away in Baltimore, Maryland, and the entire state of Maryland has zero natural lakes. It also has this panhandle that reaches a minimum width of 1.8 miles before expanding back out to 30 miles width out near West Virginia which is definitively a southern state, but also has this panhandle that reaches as far north as New York City and Nebraska. Minoe, Nebraska is the only incorporated municipality in the United States that has a population of one. The one resident, Elsie Eiler, is mayor and runs the library and tavern, which is granted a liquor license every year by Elsie herself. 
Tortilla okay. Flat that, that's weird. Arizona is six times larger mm -hmm. than Minoe since it has six residents, and Arizona also has one quarter of the Four Corners Monument, the only point where four states meet in the U.S. Arizona, Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico, which as a state, by law, still recognizes Pluto as a planet. New Mexico is typically the last state to vote in presidential primaries, whereas Iowa is usually the first. Iowa is the only state in the U.S. whose eastern and western borders are both water, in this case rivers. The eastern border is the Mississippi River, which happens to be the namesake for Mississippi. The Mississippi River also flowed backwards for a full 24 hours in 2012 during Hurricane Isaac. But the Mississippi doesn't actually reach the ocean in Mississippi. It does so in Louisiana, home to the longest bridge over water in the world at 24 miles. That's so long that for eight of those miles, you can't even see land on either side. Ooh, One of the that, that is awesome. The other longest bridges in the U.S. is in North Carolina the Virginia Dare Memorial Bridge, which carries cars out to Kitty Hawk, where the Wright brothers successfully flew a heavier-than-air aircraft for the first time in history. It was a 12-second, 120-foot flight. That's shorter than the wingspan of a Boeing 747. North Carolina's southern neighbor is South Carolina, although South Carolina isn't all that south, since more than half of it is north of North Carolina's southernmost point, and South Carolina also has a town called North, making it North South Carolina. South Carolina was the site of the first Civil War battle, and the Civil War ended up having a total of one battle over in Indiana, where the Indy 500 Speedway is, which is so enormous that you could comfortably fit the entire country of the Vatican inside it. It can also fit 400,000 people, which is the highest capacity of wow. any sports arena in the world. Wow. Indiana's state beverage is water, while Oregon's is milk. Portland, Oregon is also home to the world's smallest park, according to the Guinness World Records book, Mill End Park. Oregon is also one of the few states to not have a sales tax, along with New Hampshire, the only state to have no law requiring adults to wear seatbelts. Connecticut Lake in New Hampshire is the source of the Connecticut River, which is what Connecticut the state is named after. Hartford, Connecticut's airport, at less than 3 million passengers per year, is the smallest airport in the U.S. to have a direct flight to Europe. Delaware, on the other hand, certainly doesn't have a direct flight to Europe since it's the only state that you can't fly to. There's not one commercial flight in or out of this tiny state. It's the second smallest state behind Rhode Island, which is so small that the entire state grows by 3% during low tide. Rhode Island's second largest city, Warwick, shares its name with Warwick, Pennsylvania, and in Pennsylvania is Centralia, where the ground has been on fire since 1962 due to a coal mine fire and it's Ooh. expected to burn for over 200 years. Pennsylvania borders Minnesota. Well, not really, but Pennsylvania Avenue does intersect Minnesota Avenue in DC, and Minnesota is home to the northernmost point in the lower 48. You see, most of the US-Canada border is defined by the 49th parallel, but a surveying error led to this. The couple hundred residents of this area, called the Northwest Angle, are completely cut off from the US and need to pass into Canada, then back into the United States to go to school. Also in northern Minnesota is Virginia, the wow. town, but Virginia, the state, is massive. So massive that Ewing, Virginia is closer to eight other state capitals than to its own state capital, Richmond. Alexandria, Virginia is actually closer to Toronto, Canada than it is to Ewing, Virginia. Virginia also happens to go farther west than West Virginia. Virginia is also home to this place, the headquarters of the teaching company who run the Great Courses Plus. And with that super smooth transition, I do have to thank The Great Courses Plus for sponsoring this video. The Great Courses Plus is a subscription. Wow, yeah, that was it for the every state in the US. Wow, guys, the US actually has very interesting places, you know. Each state, it's like, has its own unique thing. The difference, differences between the states are just insane. Well, I would totally love to visit the US sometime in my life. But let me know, guys, your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're in the US, let me know a few stuff, you know. Let me know what other videos you'd like me to react to. That was it for today's video. Don't forget, like this video, subscribe to the channel. It truly helps me out. And peace out.